How's it going guys? It is Craig Mitch here for Spurred On and today it is time for another match preview but we're not going to be doing Spurs this week because it's the international break so instead we are going to be covering San Marino versus England and the reason we're going to do this is because two of our very own players have got a call up. Yes, Ryan Mason and Harry Kane have been included in the squad. Will they play? We don't know, but guess what? I'm going to include them in my starting 11. But before I do that, I'm going to give you my match prediction. And I think the match prediction for this game is probably going to be 6-1. Now, I should say 6-0. England should keep a clean sheet. But it's England. Of course they're going to concede a goal. So I'm going to go with 6-1. Uh, starting 11. So we're going to have Joe Hart in goal. We're going to have Nathaniel Klein on the right with Stones and Cahill. Now, I've decided to choose Cahill over Jagielka and over Smalling purely because I feel like they may play together in the future. Stones may go uh, Chelsea. He's not going in this window, but it might happen in January. So we're going to pair them. And then on left back, we're going to have Shaw. We're not going to have Kieran Gibbs because we're not going to have an Arsenal player on this channel featuring in the team. And that leads me to my midfield. So on the right, we're going to have Milner instead of Oxlade Chamberlain. I know a lot of you probably want to see Alex there, but he's not welcome over here. In the middle, we're going to have Mason, one of our very own, alongside Delph. On the left, Raheem Sterling. In the hole, Barkley. And up top, the one and only Harry Kane. He deserves to be there. Believe me, Roy Hodgson's seen him play and he's included him for a reason. Wayne Rooney, you're awful. All right, let's move on to some uh, memories. We all love memories. And we're going to take it way back to 1993. Stuart Pearce. The waste man himself. Remember when he was the captain of the England under 21s and got sacked and we gave it to Gareth Southgate because we're an absolute joke. Well, he conceded the quickest goal in World Cup qualifying history. Uh, it was eight seconds to be precise against San Marino. We ended up winning the game 7-1 uh, admittedly, but that's still awful. And then how he went on to get a flipping job as the coach of our England under 21s is beyond me. But that's the only memory I can think of. I know we've slated and completely mullered um, San Marino many times over the years, so I'm not going to get into all of those memories. But this has been my match prediction. That was my starting 11, not the one that, you know, Roy Hodgson may pick, just mine. And those are some memories, or memories, should I say. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spurverts. And as you can see, Team... Hashtag, no more hashtags, Reese is back, that was weird.